This is going to be some extra practice on the compound inequalities. The first thing we want to do is we want to solve both inequalities and get them down to a solution. And then at this point we're ready to graph. So this is just looking at the final step in solving compound inequalities, the graphing portion of it. So the first thing we want to do is x is less than 5. That's a parenthesis, less than 5. Okay, and then we want to graph x is less than or equal to negative 2, so that's a parenthesis here. So Anne says, where do both of these colors overlap? And our colors overlap from this portion right here of the graph. So to describe this, we would say negative infinity to negative 2 with the parenthesis. We always want to read our graphs, our solutions left to right. So we're going to look at the next and problem. We'll continue throughout till we finish these problems. So we have x is less than 5. So x is less than 5. And then we have x is greater than negative 2. Let me change colors. Greater than negative 2. So we want to know where do they overlap. They overlap from here to here, so our solution is negative 2, 5. Okay, we're going to look at the next problem. x is greater than 5, is this portion of the graph. x is greater than negative 2, that is this portion. So we want to know where these two overlap. They overlap from here to here. So as I read left to right, I describe that as 5 to infinity. And then our last one in the and section, we have x is greater than 5. And then we also have x is less than negative 2. And we want to know where do these two overlap. And we can see that they do not overlap, so therefore our, we have a no solution. Okay, now when we're going to move over to our or graphs, we want to know what part of the number line um, did you color on? Okay, what part of the number line did you color on? So first of all, we're going to graph x is less than 5. The next thing we want to graph is x is less than negative 2. We want to um, include any part of the graph that was colored on. So we have this all the way to there. So it's from negative infinity to 5. Okay, our next problem x is less than 5, and then we have x is greater than negative 2, and it says what part of the graph was colored on. Well, we was colored from there all the way here, so our graph is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, we look at our next one, x is greater than 5, it's this graph, x is greater than negative 2, is this, so we want to know what part of the graph was col colored on. So we have from there to there, so I described that reading left to right, um, negative 2 to infinity. And then our last graph, x is greater than 5, and x is less than negative 2. So we want to describe anything that was colored on, so we want to describe this, and this. Now I always start from the leftmost side, so that's negative infinity to negative 2, union to represent the gap, then 5 to infinity. So this is just a little bit of extra practice on graphing inequalities, the and and or. This is just the graphing portion of it. This should help you um, understand this concept a little better.